Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch. One of my community members sent me this post earlier in the day and it had some interesting information on it. Right now I'm on the official subreddit for Last Epoch. Under discussion this question was asked. What if we had items that give you additional points for specific passive tree notes? This is something that a lot of games have done in the past, and obviously the most popular game right now, whether you want to admit it or not, is of course Diablo 4, and it does it. Let me show you. Now looking at my D4 gear, you will see this amulet, and the amulet gives plus three ranks to quick shift passive, and this can roll between one and three. Now, when you go and look at my skills and you come right down here to the passive, you will see that quick shift is in blue or purple and it is six out of three. I have over maxed that node, which gives double the power. And you can only do this from a specific affix on your gear. Grim Dawn does this as well, where you can like super max out passive aspects. So now let's check out the official response from EHG because they did respond. I really like this idea so much that I've pitched it internally before. Sadly, you might have noticed that it's not in the game. I did notice that it would take some minor features to make work. It's really not a big deal. The main reason we haven't done it so far is it's just a little too specific without being detailed. When a player reads plus two points to a passive in column five of their mastery tree, they probably have no idea what is even in that column. It's either in that column. It's either going to be awesome or useless. They would have to go and look to evaluate if it's even worth taking or not. The inability to know what the item does without referencing a lookup table is a step we want to avoid. OK, see where they're going. There's also some problems with removing items and having them remove a passive point and then losing access to the skills altogether in some situations. Also invalid invalidating your whole tree if they were what got you to the rank of the next nodes. So inside of Last Epoch, every five points basically unlocks the next notch in your passive tree and it unlocks skills. So if you had plus five to this passive and it moved you up and then you took the item off, you're going to lose access to that. This is true. This is very true. So these points wouldn't be able to count as normal points in a lot of ways. They would probably overcap nodes and just actually count towards things in general, which is exactly what you know, they do and what I just showed you in Diablo 4 and again are huge in Grim Dawn. They kind of have to be something other than passive points with many distinctions. Generally, I think if we were looking to give passive power on an item, we would just give an all purpose passive point instead of specific column or just give an effect of specific nodes on the item itself. The section second option is usually what we do. We have moved slash copied several passives to items over the years but there is still room for more interesting interactions for sure. OK, so you're probably saying, Aaron, what's the big deal? That's that's a nothing burger. That is a great idea. But in the future, maybe there's something. But wait, there's more. Response. Was there ever an idea for scaling the mastery's power? Was there ever an idea for scaling the mastery's power your mastery bonus is x percent increased could be a useful stat if you're built into that specific class mechanic sort of how wow mastery stat i guess generic stat but different effect depending on the class and here we go you ready couple of sentences official ehg team yes if we were going to do a specific generic stat like that with regards to passives, that would be where it would go. And we for sure don't have anything like that planned at all. Nope, no way, not at all. Okay, fine, you broke me. We're doing it. Mastery buff? That's what he... Ma your mastery bonus is X percent increased. I mean, maybe this is sarcasm. Maybe it's a joke. I don't take it that way. I immediately was like, oh, boy. We're doing it. Aaron, I don't still don't understand. What does that mean? We are now logged into last epoch. This is my level 100 necromancer currently specced into golemancer. I love this build. Okay. 
and you click P and pull up your passives and you look at Necromancer. Now what the post is confirming, or at least something along those lines, is not over boosting a node like we saw in Diablo 4, but down here, your passive bonuses for your mastery. So you'll see if you take Necromancer as your mastery, you're gonna get plus one to skeleton, plus one skeleton mage, and your minions deal 50% increased damage. Pretty nice little bonus if you like Necro. Now, maybe you are gonna be able to find an item with an affix, your mastery is 10% better, 50% better, plus one to maximum skeletons, whatever it is, affixes that boost your mastery. Now, my brain immediately looks at my item, Aaron's Will, because if I can somehow boost max skeletons off of an item as an affix, then to get my three golems, I wouldn't have to take two hollow fingers. Which, EHG, if you're listening, that is a great idea. That's the video kind of confirmed through Reddit that there's going to be a way to boost your passives in some way, whether that's nodes or your mastery in the future. I want to know your opinion. Did I read this correctly? Is there something I missed? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Two asks at the end of the video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. Hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. Of course, only if you think I deserve it. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 86 members that have signed up. I get asked all the time, Aaron, what is the best way to support you? Patreon is the best way and you get all the bonuses. You get access to the VIP YouTube channel. You get access to the VIP chat. You get access to the bonus hour of the podcast. It gives you the best bells and whistles. And if you haven't been following Last Epoch for a while, I will be in Germany with their team representing this awesome community at Gamescom 2023. That's end of August. It's going to be an absolute blast. It's going to be an absolute blast. That's all I've got. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.